Here's J. Lore. This is the Hilltop Cabernet Sauvignon 2013 from Paso Robles, of course. And um, you know, this is a wine we've uh, we've had before. And this latest version is really, really good. Um, you know, J. Lore. Um, they're like, they've been real pioneers in uh, Paso, producing wines there for a long time. And, you know, focusing on these grapes like Cabernet and Petit Syrah that do really well in that warm, sun-drenched climate. As the name would imply, <laughs> they're sourcing the cab for this wine from the higher elevation vineyards. Uh, from the tops of the hills and so that allows the cooling effect of that elevation to temper the ripening let those grapes take on really nice balance really good nuance right 96 percent Cabernet Sauvignon they throw in three percent Merlot and one percent Petit Verdot in this 2013 and they've aged it for 18 months in 60% new French oak. Oh man, that's a big nose. I get that immediate hit of uh, dark chocolate and um, and cassis, and then some of those uh, some of those baking spices come up. A little bit of a sort of a sweet cherry note now. Let's try it. Beautiful, rich texture on this wine. And that's you know, one of the things I always like about this wine. It's really kind of mouth-filling. Um, great flavors, too, uh, which certainly doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't hurt. Really nice, ripe um, black currants, blackberries, cherry. And then that, those chocolate notes come in. Really nice cocoa, dark chocolate, and those hints of spice. Those, that little spiciness, that sort of... I don't know, pumpkin pie, cherry pie spice hangs around on the finish. Really nice. Um, good core to this, good backbone. It's going to be a nice one. Age for a few years, too. Happy drinking.